Hello and welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. With me today, David Carvalho of Noworis. And welcome, David. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Um, so you're a cybersecurity company, but you're doing things from a different perspective, really, kind of turning cybersecurity on its head. So explain to me your strategy. That's right. So what we propose is actually to go to environments that are very conscious about their security. Um, and approach cybersecurity from a very different perspective and fundamentally turn it on its head. So in, usually in corporate environments or very big uh, systems, mm -hmm. you will have lots of computers, lots of devices, servers, so on. And actually because these environments are so big and complex, it makes, actually, it makes them a lot to, easier to attack uh, because the attacker just needs to find a vulnerability in any of the systems okay. and he will eventually own the environment. Now, what we aim to do is to propose that with our environment of uh, an, an ecosystem that's based on the blockchain, we enable um, every device that is on this network that otherwise would be a point of failure or indeed a point of entry to become a defender, let's say, of the whole I environment, see. of the whole mm -hmm. ecosystem, a point of strength per se. So this approach, uh, from our perspective, fundamentally changes the way that cybersecurity works. Um, because it creates a level of resilience that was never before possible mm -hmm. without an ecosystem like this. Well, that's very interesting because cybersecurity is an enormous problem yes. and it's not getting better. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's attacks all the time, there's nation states are doing attacks and hackers are doing attacks. So um, this may be one way to kind of stem that growth from happening. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there needs to be definitely innovation on this space for about 35 years. Um, Traditional cybersecurity vendors um, and companies have been tackling this problem, um, always using the same uh, approach repeatedly and expecting different results. And this is just not acceptable anymore. The attackers are becoming more and more well-backed and more resilient, smarter. And the defenders are continuing with the previous approach that is very much siloed and uh, focused on uh, just protecting devices instead of protecting the ecosystem itself. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, recently there was, uh, um, uh, there is awareness that there has been a nation state back attack on all sorts of routers from different vendors. More than half a million routers have been compromised. There's probably a lot more than that. Um, uh, an attacker can actually leverage that to do all sorts of things, anything from cyber war to cyber espionage, and these are actually already known problems. So the approach to this needs to fundamentally change, and that's where we come in. We um, we suggest or we propose that uh, uh, something um, that is based on the blockchain, so a distributed, trustless okay. environment that uh, uh, regulates itself is really the the, um, the solution to something like this. So the blockchain will, so if some hacker does get into a little piece of a system, the blockchain will prevent them from being able to spread that through the whole system. They won't be able to get very far, there'll be like a wall there, right? That's a very, yeah, that's a very, um, it's a very good point because um, let's say the attacker comes in and you have a, a whole ecosystem, not just a device that is trying to stop him. You have a whole ecosystem that is focused on very specific rules, just like the, um, you know, the Bitcoin blockchain is, but different. Um, and what the environment is looking for is really to prevent breaches, to stop the attack from moving forward. And uh, uh, it's rewarded for this. So everybody in the ecosystem is actually re rewarded for this. That's what the ecosystem is there for. So the attacker would have to subvert the whole ecosystem to actually um, uh, go and uh, subvert a single device. So tell me about the future of uh, Noorus. Like, what are you looking forward you know, to doing in the next, say, one, three, five years? So we are already working with uh, security conscious companies, so uh, global companies um, in, in other um, institutions, nation state related. Um, and we are looking to really um, change the way that uh, they approach cybersecurity, both from a cost perspective, from a manpower need perspective, and uh, from a more technical you know, baseline perspective to how do they actually transform their, their environments that are extremely complex and hard to maintain from a cybersecurity perspective into environments that are um, resilient, they, uh, they are resilient, they are distributed, and other environments, even outside of their space, so in a globalized form, pretty much help them protect themselves 
and they help protect others. That's our objective. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, David Carvalho, CEO of Noworis. So best of Thanks. luck to you. I mean, it's a huge global problem. So hopefully you can find a solution there. Thank you. And well, thank you as well for joining us on SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site. Have a great day.